The next person I'm call to the stage, this person, this amazing person, did a lot of things for the community, her community. Um, she served 26 years in her community. You know, she ran for city council two times. I think this is her third time running. But she ran two times. This is her third time running. She's here tonight. She's running for city council again. And she goes by the name of Gwen Goodwin. Where you put your hands together with Gwen Goodwin? And you thought I was running for uh, Miss USA. Uh, <laughs> this is a great group tonight. You're all a lot younger than those uh, stiffs I usually talk to down at City Hall. Uh, so it's, it's pretty exciting for me because the words of these poets are the fire that I usually take in right before I go down and give them hell at City Hall. So I was asked tonight to speak to you about something that many of you already know about, but some people don't know about. And that's uh, the gentrification process that's going on. It's been going on for quite a while, but it's been quite accelerated under Mayor Bloomberg. I am actually running for my second time in East Harlem, and I'm a resident of East Harlem for 26 years. I came to New York to be an actress, but I'm an activist because of the things I've seen as I've lived in East Harlem. I've seen two different worlds every time you cross over that line at 96th Street. Uh, racism is alive and well in the United States of America. I'm sorry to say that in the day of Barack Obama. We've had some progresses, but right now, New Yorkers that have lived here for many, many years are literally being threatened out of their households. And I don't have to tell a lot of you about this, but on Juneteenth, I guess I might as well kind of tell you how it opened the city council last year when Mayor Bloomberg uh, proposed the rezoning of 125th Street. I turned away from the kings and the queens on the stage and I turned to the audience. And with all my heart, after sitting there for six hours waiting to speak, I just I had to say these words to the people in the audience. And I said, mostly to this African American audience, you know, white Americans have been pissing in your face for the last 400 years. And it's about time for this to stop. And I think that Mayor Bloomberg's rezoning of 125th Street is sort of like clearing out of the ghettos on the 1930s of the Jews. This time we're not doing it with blood and war, but we're doing it under rezoning. And so I think something that all New Yorkers should be listening up for and looking for is when your elected officials come to you and say, we're going to rezone you, because that really means we're going to outzone you. You won't have a place to live. And this isn't just a problem for, for you know, black and Hispanic people. This is a problem for all working class people to live here in the United States, because the agenda in New York City is to not have diversity. The agenda here is to have a, a very, very rich population and make sure that we find some place else to live. I have fought in my community for a very long time. I've saved our public school. Right now I'm fighting Mayor Bloomberg to have it reopened as a public school in East Harlem. But we can't do that because he wants to put rich people in that school space. Anyway, I'm not here to give you a uh, political sermon on what's going on in East Harlem, but I, I do want everyone here to be advised of what's going on, to make sure you keep voting, because things like this, are, are the way we, we get rid of with the middle class and the working class people. We all know how hard it is to work here in New York City. So I was asked to speak about gentrification, what it looks like. It looks like rezoning. It looks like condos. It looks like everything you know about. And the only thing you can do is to get involved. Getting involved in campaigns like mine is, is a good thing to do because I am not the corporations and I don't think we should be giving money to any more corporate <coughs> abuses of New York City citizens. So I'll thank you all. Sit back and listen up for a while. So thank you so much.